वेलकम बैक गाइस विथ वेरी लेस टाइम लेफ्ट एंड लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स टू कवर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सेमिस्टर एंड एग्जामिनेशन कैन ऑफन बी चैलेंजिंग एंड फॉर दैट रीजन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द प्रोसीजर विच आई अडॉप्ट ड्यूरिंग माई एग्जामिनेशन टाइम विच हैज हेल्प मी डू कंसिस्टेंटली वेल और परफॉर्म कंसिस्टेंटली वेल वेल इन माई सेमिस्टर एंड एग्जामिनेशन स्पेशली इन माई फर्स्ट इयर गाइज सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड टेक नोट ऑफ द पॉइंट विच आई डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो एंड इनकलकेट दम इन योर प्रिपरेशन सो दट You can just sail through this semester and examination preparation very seamlessly, guys. With that note, let's start this video. First things first. I always tell this to people who you know consult me about how to prepare for their exams or any kind of examinations for that reason. If you know what you need to study, then you'll be able to devise any strategy or any uh, kind of procedure to go about things. But what if you don't know what actually you need to study so the first and the foremost thing which you have to do is to look into your syllabus copy and get to know what all things have to be studied because as i told you earlier when you know what has to be studied then a clear plan can be devised in order to crack them and uh, for this you can take syllabus copies from your class representative or i think most of you will have it by now take a thorough look of your syllabus copy first before starting your preparation before we move on to the next step If you are someone who is preparing for your gate examination and especially gate 2024 which is starting from 3rd February then I'm sure you'll be looking forward to revise and analyze your preparation to understand where you stand right now and for that I would strongly recommend gate wala's gate 2024 test series guys cause you'll get access to PYQs from 2018 gate 2018 gate 2018 to gate 2023 which will not only help you boost your preparation but will also uh, help you to get familiarized with the ongoing trends in terms of your gate examination guys and with the special offer which is going on at PW you will be getting access to these test series starting at just rupees 299 guys and the great thing is that the special offer is not only applicable for the test series but also on all its batches for gate 2024 2025 and 2026 parakram gate 2025 for computer science and data science and artificial intelligence will be uh, available for you at just rupees 9999 and parakram esc plus gate plus psus 2025 all branches will be available at just rupees 13999 guys next talking about shrest gate 2026 plus psus plus placement preparation batch so this is coming at just rupees 17999 in this special offer and not only that you will also be getting shrest esc plus gate plus psus 2026 batch b at just rupees 17999 and also parakram gate 2025 batch b at just rupees 6600 along with this pw gate wala topic wise previous year question book set which consists of two books one technical and non technical will definitely prove to be an asset in terms of your gate preparation cause in this you will get access to past 16 years pyqs which has been asked in gate examination and embedded qr codes with each and every question is as the standout feature according to me cause you will get video solution of each and every question through that qr codes pw is providing gate khazana with 2025 and 2026 batches at just rupees 3999 in this gate khazana you will get access to recorded lectures by india's best faculties and uh, the dpp and dpp solutions will also be provided in both languages and the best part is that you can use my code which i'm displaying on the screen right now in order to get an additional rupees 500 off while registering for your favorite course at physics wala the links for all these batches has been given in the description guys so please check it out what are you waiting for enroll to your favorite batch and take your gate preparation to the next level with physics wala yeah coming back to our discussion the first step is about consolidating your syllabus copies and the next step is about gathering all the required documents for your preparation and for people especially like me who won't have an habit of making clear notes during your engineering so i would strongly suggest to see for someone in your class who writes notes really well and consult them and ask them politely for their notes through which you can study for your examination and don't make this mistake of gathering these documents during your examination itself cause at that time one thing is that all the students all your classmates will be busy in their own preparation and in the same way in the process of searching for these documents you will often end up losing your interest and focus in your preparation during that time and i don't want you to lose the focus at least one day before your exam for that reason just make sure that you have all the documents or the necessary videos now that you have your syllabus copy and all the required resources for your preparation with you 
it's your responsibility to devise your own strategy to complete the entire syllabus in the stipulated amount of time and for that i have uh, certain ideas which i inculcate during my preparation in order to save time one thing which i do and which has helped me a lot the strategy which i used to solve problems especially suppose there is a main in which there are five to six questions of the same type same profile in the sense there will be change in values but the procedure which is required in order to uh, reach to the final answer will be the same and in that case i won't be someone who will be wasting my time in solving all the six questions one by one in that case you should use your intelligence to uh, try to find out two big questions in that particular main which will help you uh, get that confidence of solving any kind of question which comes under that profile and that is what is to be required guys i've seen a lot of people falter in this by uh, wasting a lot of time in solving each and every question in the particular main but what i would like to suggest you to do is to solve max to max two questions in a particular main which will get you that idea of how to solve that particular type of questions if it comes in your examination and this has helped me a lot in saving time during my preparation guys and that in turn doesn't mean you should be solving some two easy questions from that main or the first two questions which will generally be easy from that main and just move on you should be able to choose two questions or one question from that main which will help you uh, get that confidence or boost your confidence in such a way that you should be able to solve any kind of question which comes under that profile I hope you understand. Yes, right. If you are able to solve the hard ones, then uh, easy ones will be solved more easily by you. And that is what I need, and that is what has been uh, helping me since a long, long days, guys. And during your preparation, if you feel you are stuck somewhere, or if you feel you are not understanding that particular concept, for instance, then I would like to recommend you to just search it on YouTube so that a lot of videos will be available on that particular topic itself, in which you will be able to get that opportunity to choose. the best among it you can use certain filters such as most viewed or most liked in order to select the best ones and go through it so that you will get to understand more about that particular concept and once you understand that concept series of concepts after that particular concept will also feel easier for you so with that one thing is that you are increasing your confidence in that particular topic and that in turn is helping you crack the uh, following topics very easily guys these tips may seem very minute for you right now but once you inculcate this once you adopt these in your preparation you will be able to see the difference in your results guys and i want all of you to be really serious especially when there is very less time left for your examinations cause however you guys won't be serious in your entire semester so at least so at least during your semester and examination you should be in a position to give it your best many people were telling me that their internal assessment hasn't gone that well and in order to cope up with your uh, internal assessment not going that good or to your expectations you can perform uh, you can outperform in your uh, semester and examination i am sure many of you will be knowing the fact that in your respective colleges there will be a criteria to provide you the final results there will be a stipulated amount of weightage for the internal assessment and the semester and examination which culminated will give you the final result so for people whose cie or your ia which many other universities call or any other colleges call the internal assessments if they haven't gone to your expectations then you can just cope up with it through performing well performing really well in your semester and examination so keep that a point in your mind and just take that uh, one move ahead so that you will be able to cope up the mistakes which you did during your internal assessment which led to them going not up to your expectations guys yeah these were the minor tips which have really helped me a lot in my preparation and uh, it has been seen in form of results too so that is the reason why i am making this video cause a lot of people were anxious about their semester and examinations approaching and people were like flooding their messages to my telegram and my whatsapp too so that uh, made me make this video out of nowhere and i hope all of you who watched this video till now have understood all the takeaways from this and all the things which you have to keep in mind during your preparation i hope all of you are in a position right now to devise your individual strategies to crack your semester and examinations and uh, inculcate whatever things i told you in this video certainly add value to your preparation and help you come out with flying colors in your semester and examination guys whenever your exams are approaching or whichever branch you belong to i would like to wish you all the best for your semester and examinations as your well wisher as your elder brother or younger brother too and uh, 
yeah this was it guys yeah i enjoyed a lot while i was sharing things which i inculcate during my preparation with you guys so if you did the same watching this video then make sure that you hit the like button and if you have any kind of doubts regarding your examinations or your other things like programming and how to you know start coding in 2024 many things like that just put it in the comment section so that i'll be able to uh, answer you over there and join our telegram group to keep in constant touch with me and your peers who are studying in different colleges across karnataka and even across india guys and with that note let me sign off for this video guys we'll meet in the next video very soon so thank you for watching bye